What's good, y'all, man? This can bring y'all another video, man. Straight like that, dog. Like the uh, like the video, man. Comment down below what you want to see in the next one, and subscribe if you new here, dog. We on Demon Time as usual, bro. Let's get it. All right, so look, man. Y'all see the title of the video, bro? Stop caring about her, and she will chase you. I promise. That's how it works, bro. That's how the world works. See. The less energy you put into talking to her, the less energy, less attention that you give into uh, uh, talking to her, the more that she will want you. The more that she will start chasing you. Understand that. Understand that. Now realize this, dog. There's a reason for everything. There's a reason for that. These females nowadays have big egos. Okay? These big egos come from years and years of validation. Okay, and you know what? The music that they be listening to, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. The city girls, that that whole movement. You know what I mean? That's that's been that's now a part of their personality. So now you got proud, promiscuous females posting all over, doing whatever, making OnlyFans accounts. They proudly doing this stuff now. This isn't back then. This is 2021. All right, that's what they doing now. So not only are they they they, they being validated. For everything, because let me tell you something, bruh. Dudes is down bad. They buying OnlyFans. Dudes is down bad. They they doing whatever for females. Just to get a little a little bit of coochie. They doing whatever. They're down bad. You cannot blend in with these dudes. You can't. Understand that you have to be nonchalant with women, bruh. You have to be nonchalant. You have to have that take it or leave it mentality. Because if you don't, then she will. She will. When you linking up with a female, bro, understand that with all the game and tactics that I'm giving y'all, all the you know, I'm telling you to be on your masculine frame, all this, all that, but at the end of the day, you know in the back of your mind that you have options. That's why it's so important to have options. It's so important to have a rotation because you always want to have that security in the back of your mind like, eh, I'm going to take it or leave it. It is what it is. Once you develop that it is what it is mentality, that's when the females start chasing you. Promise. It's a push-pull. I have a couple of homies, bro. I remember we was talking one time about a year ago, like around 2019, you know what I'm saying? And they was talking like, you know what I mean? They was like, you know, as soon as I stopped caring about females, as soon as I start, you know what I mean? I was like, you know what? Forget it. I don't even care no more. That's when they started coming out the woodworks, talking about, oh, I like you. Oh, this is that. They started chasing them. And that's how it works. The less you care, the more she gonna chase. The more she will chase. Now, what is the psychology behind that? Because like I said, they got big egos, right? And the more you act nonchalant, the more she's going to chase you. What is the psychology behind that? This is what it is, bro. Understand that with that big ego comes expectations. She's expecting you to do X, Y, and Z because this is what every other guy has done. For example, you go on a date. She's expecting you to pay for the entire meal. You take her out. Uh, she's expecting you to be a gentleman. You know what I'm saying? You take her back to your crib. She expecting stuff to go down. You know what I mean? Because this is what she's been treated to her entire life. She's not used to anything else. See, this is why a man. Uh, this is why a woman can never step in a man's shoes and survive for more than like a week. Because women aren't used to getting rejected. Women break down as soon as you you reject them. A woman breaks down. She goes to her homegirls and cries, and then her homegirls texting you like, "What did you do to her? What did you do to her?" Nothing. I just did what y'all been doing to us for years and years and years. And now, when we do it back to y'all, it's a problem. See, because they're not used to that, bruh. They're not used to that. They think that they got... See, women have that ego where they think, I'm everything a man needs. I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this. So when you act nonchalant, when you're like, yeah, whatever, I take it or leave it, that plays with her mind. Because now she gonna start thinking, what do? What am I missing? Why is he not simping for me? Why? Why? They start asking themselves questions. I think I've said this before, but look, bro. When I started talking to my current girl right now, okay? The reason that uh, uh, the reason that uh, I was able to talk to her for so long and the reason that I was able to get in a relationship with her is because I applied these tactics. I applied these tactics. Because I've asked her before. She said, I've never been rejected before. I've never had a problem. I've never had a, a, a dude, you know what I mean, that didn't validate me, nothing like that before. And I was the first one. I wasn't pedestalizing her. I had that nonchalant, take her to leave it mentality. And I asked her about it. She said, she said it, it, it messed with her mind. It messed with her brain. She said that she thought in her mind, oh, well, who does he think he is? Oh, now my interest is peaked because he acting like he's a star. Who he think he is? That's exactly what happens when you 
start caring less about her and more about yourself, bruh. Care more about yourself than you care about her, and she will come chasing. She's gonna come chasing because she's intrigued now. She's intrigued. Oh, so he acting this way. Oh, let me go see what's going on. Like, what's going on? Why he don't why he don't like me? Let me let me investigate further. They want to investigate. They want to be all up in your business. That's the that's what you'll start to realize when you care less and less about women, bruh. I get DMs all the time where it's like, oh, you know, Cam, what should I do? There's this one girl that I'm talking to, but she playing games, blah, 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 blah. Bro, that's not your girl. You care too much. If it's not your girl, then whatever. It is what it is. Do whatever. See, you have to get out of that. We, we Look, we've been brainwashed, dog. We have been brainwashed. You have to get out of that beta mindset that tells us to treat a girl like, you know what I mean? She sugar, spice, everything dies. You know what I'm saying? Just stop giving women the benefit of the doubt. Stop acting. Stop Stop thinking that you got to be so nice all the time. You don't. You really don't. You see how women treat us, right? You see how women treat us. Trust me. I have seen so many down bad stories about how bad women treat dudes. How about they, they, they'll cheat on a dude and he'll still beg for her back. A dude will be down on his luck, down so, so bad, crying in the bedroom, listening to Frank Ocean. And she won't take him back. Why? Why? Because. Because he was too nice. He cared about her too much. And a woman will always, always, always deny it. She will always deny the fact that she wants a guy that's unavailable. Because unavailability sparks interest. It's unpredictability, mystery. Those are the big turn-ons for females. Unpredictability, mystery, unavailableness. Because they think a lot. They overthink. Why, they keep asking. Why isn't he doing this for me? Why is he so unavailable? Why ain't he emotional? Why? And they're going to keep asking themselves to the point where now they done ended up in your bedroom. You have to play the mind games, bro. You have to, it's a one big mind game. See, see, it's like this, dog. I've seen some, because people be commenting on my posts on, on whatever social media platform talking about, oh, you know what I mean? You don't got to do this. You don't got to do this. Yes, you do. Because this is the game now. See, women have been manipulating men for years and years and years into doing so many different things. Why you think in the hood, people use females to set up dudes, to set them up? They send the female on a date, right? Get her to, to, to take him to a certain location or do whatever. And then he gets set up, robbed, killed. Because women are master manipulators. So this is the game. It's time to start playing back. So if women is going to master manipulate, then what we going to do is find out our own strategy. Okay, and our own strategy is this. We don't care no more. We can take it or leave it. Uh, whatever. Whatever. It's like whatever. Y'all got to stop treating her like she won a Grammy, bro. Stop treating her like she won a Grammy, bro. She's just a nominee. She's just a nominee. All right? She has potential, maybe. But you have to have that take it or leave it. And she, she going to chase hard. She will chase hard. Why do you think, why do you think things like when you, when you, when you uh, 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 bring her to the crib and she expects stuff to go down and then you tell her no? That plays with her mind. That plays with her mind. Why? Why does that play with her mind? Because she thinks she all that. She thinks she all that. She thinks, oh yeah, he want to smash. He want to be up in this. But when you say no, she gets confused. That breaks her spirit. It breaks her soul. She's never had that. She gets confused. Why you think, bro, I, I gave this tip out on TikTok. Why you think when you midway, you know what I mean? You, you, you going crazy and then you pull out and you say, no, nah, I wasn't really feeling that. That plays with her. That hurts her. Why? Because she ain't never had to deal with that before. She ain't never had to deal with that before. Now she gonna chase you harder. Because you just act like you didn't care about hitting. You act like you didn't care. That's all you have to do, bro. That's the game. That's the game. Right there. You know what I'm saying? Treat her like a nominee. Not a Grammy winner. She a nominee. You feel me? But anyway, man, hope y'all understand what I'm saying. I'm out of here and I love y'all. Peace.